WrestleMania week is upon us, and there is so much happening besides actual WrestleMania. There's an Evolve show, Ring of Honor, Access, which my dad will be doing a podcast with Stone Cold, and he's doing a signing too. There's Hall of Fame, there's NXT, there's a possible Access gather up with Ringside to give away free exclusive, so stay tuned. Do you want to own a Y2J exclusive before anybody else? Check our other social media networks to find out how. Now it's time to talk about the big show. Well, well, it's... No, no, oh. no, not that big show. The big show as in WrestleMania. Well, it's a... No! This year, WrestleMania is six hours long. Six hours long, that's a long time. And we have the pre-show, which has like 75 matches, and then we have, you know, the main event, WrestleMania. So pre-show, we have Kalisto and Ryback. I really hope that Kalisto just beats the stuffing out of Ryback. Get it? Stuffing, because Ryback looks like stuffed, and he likes food, feed me more, and stuffing is a type of food. Then it's the Usos versus the Dudley Boys. It's not a tables match because the Dudley Boys, they got rid of the tables. My prediction is the Usos will win clean, and then at the end, the Usos will bring the tables out and use them on the Dudley Boys. Up next, we have the five on five Diva match with the Total Divas versus Team Bad and Blonde. And on Raw, Eva Marie came back, and so did Emma. But Eva Marie kinda got booed like crazy. But I'm pretty excited for this match, and we're gonna see Lana wrestle for the first time. So, who do I want to win? I'm gonna go with the Total Divas take the win. The next match is the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. And there's gonna be 20 guys in there. Who do I think is gonna win? I think it's gonna be a little bit different this year. Let's knock them down one by one. Eh, big show? Mm, no, he's down, probably not. Oh, see, they're already out. These guys, they're just going one by one. Kane, <laughs> I don't think so. Nope, Fandango, sorry. Who do we have left? The Social Outcast. So I think all four of them will somehow win at the same time. And if you have one of these cute little trophies at home, it breaks into four pieces. So each of them get a piece and it works out perfect. Moving on to the main card, WrestleMania, we have another Divas match, which is actually the Divas title match. And we have Sasha Banks, Charlotte, and Becky Lynch. I think this is gonna be a really good match. They're all really great athletic wrestlers, so I'm expecting some like crazy awesome moves. I think Sasha Banks is gonna win because she's the boss and it's her time to shine. <laughs> Following that, we have a seven man tag match with the New Day facing the League of Nations. It's strange that it's not for the title, so my prediction is the League of Nations will win, but not a clean finish, with, with some type of trickery. <laughs> Next match is AJ Styles versus Chris Jericho. This will be their fourth match they've had. I think AJ Styles will win because this is his first WrestleMania, but do you know it would be super cool if some of the other Bullet Club members came out and interfered somehow or even just came out to the ring? Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Following that, we have the seven man ladder match for the Intercontinental title, which I am super excited for because last year's ladder match was 
amazing and it's kind of becoming a tradition maybe they'll do it every year but anyway i'm super excited and if i i have three picks who could possibly win either dolph ziggler kevin owens or Sami Zayn. i am kind of leaning towards Sami Zayn because right now Kevin Owens has the title, and they're rivals, and this is Sami Zayn's first WrestleMania, but it's also Kevin Owens' first WrestleMania. But I, I can see Sami Zayn taking it away from Kevin Owens. <laughs> Moving on, we have the no-holds-barred street fight between Dean Ambrose and Brock Lesnar. I expect a lot of weapons, including Barbie and you know, this Barbie, maybe some cinder blocks, a cookie sheet, a stop sign. Can't forget about kendo sticks. A missile. Brock Lesnar even brought his gun. Oh, and you can't forget this. A dirty bedpan in case someone <laughs> shit himself. So Brock Lesnar always seems to win. Like he never loses. So I hope he loses and I hope Dean Ambrose wins because Dean Ambrose is amazing, and he deserves to win. And lastly, or what I think should be last, is the Undertaker versus Shane Hell in a Cell match, which is just, it's gonna be insane. Just insane. Undertaker is known for having incredible Hell in a Cell matches, and Shane O'Mac is known for taking insane spots so we can just imagine what's gonna happen like imagine Shane jumps off the hell in a cell or I don't know climbs up do do something crazy but so if Shane wins he gets to take over raw and if Undertaker loses he's fired so I don't know what's gonna happen I think Undertaker will win but then let's say maybe Vince will come out and be like you know, Shane, I'll give you one more chance. If you beat me, you can take over Raw. And he'll be like, I'll give you the beating that you deserve. And then since it's in Texas, what if Stone Cold came out and gave Vince a stunner and then Shane pins him and he wins and then he takes over Raw. And now on to the WWE World Heavyweight title match with Roman Reigns versus Triple H. You know, I think this should be a good match. I know Roman gets booed a lot. Triple H even gets booed too, but they're great wrestlers. So maybe they'll have some cool new moves to show or maybe there'll be an interference. I don't know who would interfere. I know The Rock is supposed to make an appearance. Maybe he'll be the special guest referee. And you know, he's cousins with Roman Reigns, so maybe he'll cause Triple H to lose the match and Roman Reigns will be the new World's Heavyweight Champion. Well, I guess my ride's here. See you in Dallas.